Hello, I'm Paddy from Aberdeen Science Centre. Today we're going to look at birds and different ways they use their beaks for survival. We'll even get to make our own one. Birds are feathered vertebrates that have wings, two legs and a beak. They're built to fly, but not all birds can. Some, like ostriches, have powerful legs for running and others are great swimmers, such as penguins. For birds to fly, they need wings. But instead of the arms that we have, theirs have been adapted to allow them to catch flight. Their wings are curved on top and flat underneath, which helps the wind to pass above it and create a lift from underneath. The skeleton of a bird must be lightweight, but still strong enough to fly. This is why they have hollow bones filled with tiny struts for strength. The muscles that control their wings are connected to the keel, the flat part of their breastbone which is why a lot of birds have a pronounced breast. Birds are the only animal that have feathers, and each feather has an important job. Small, down feathers close to their body are used for warmth. Contour feathers are long and stiff, and what shapes the bird to make it streamlined. Flight feathers are long and tough. They're found along the wings and tail and give it power during flight. But it's their beaks that we're gonna to explore today. Birds use their beak for all manner of things from eating to building their nests and even defending themselves. Beaks are made of keratin, the same thing as your nails. They're made up of two parts, the maxillary rostrum and the mandibular rostrum at the bottom. But have you noticed that not all birds have the same size or shape of beak? That's because their beaks depend on what they eat and how they interact with their environment. Birds of prey, such as eagles and buzzards, have powerful and sharp hooked beaks which help them tear into their prey. Whereas garden birds, such as sparrows and blue tits, have small, narrow beaks, which are great for hunting insects and eating seeds. Wader birds, like curlews, have long beaks that they use like chopsticks to pick out worms from deep in the mud. We know the same family of birds can slightly evolve depending on their environment too. When Charles Darwin visited the Galapagos Islands in the 1800s, he discovered that finches across different islands had adapted their beaks due to the food available to them. With that in mind, let's make our own paper beaks. What you'll need is two bits of card, a black marker, a pair of scissors, and two rubber or elastic bands. First, we're gonna make a square by bringing down one corner to the adjacent edge and pressing down to create a fold. We can now cut away the excess strip of paper. Next, we need to fold the triangle in half. Then, we fold it in half again. We need to do the exact same with a second piece of paper. With one corner, fold a little over and snip a small piece out and repeat on the opposite corner. Do the same to the other half of the beak. Take both parts of the beak and cross the corners over one another. Thread the piece of elastic through the holes and tie it into place. The final thing to do is draw on some nostrils. Now that we've finished our beak, let's try it on and see if it works. It should move with your jaw. That brings us to the end of exploring birds and how their beaks work. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Did you know Aberdeen Science Centre is a registered charity? For over 30 years we've been inspiring a lifelong interest in science, technology, engineering and maths in Aberdeen, the north of Scotland and beyond. If you enjoy videos like these and would like to support us and the rest of our mission, head to aberdeensciencecentre.org donate and consider giving us a donation.